Namaste. This is Pradeep here, founder at Pali Yoga Ashram and a lead teacher also. So today we shall talk about uh, one of these seated position. It is also considered a meditative pose in some text. And uh, this posture is Vajrasana, where the word Vajra means thunderbolt and Vajra is also uh, mythologically said to be a weapon of Lord Indra and uh, the characteristic of this weapon Vajra is it's very powerful and strong so and uh, there is also one other reason why this posture would be known as Vajrasana because when we sit into this posture the heels into this posture hits the point into the hip where the Vajra Nadi is said to be situated. So these are two reasons and Vajra Nadi is connected to our digestion as well. This is why this posture is also said to be good for digestion. And uh, Japanese people sit in this posture a lot. So for this position of course you require a very good flexible knee and ankle. So the knee need to be completely bent and be squeezed pressurized and ankle needs to be pointed forward. So let me quickly show you how to sit into this posture. For sitting into this posture we simply keep our knees together and we try to keep our heels together and we sit up on the heels. Now let me show you from side. Now into this posture we keep our sitting bones on top of our heels. Depending upon flexibility of the ankle, many people will have this issue that if their ankle cannot you know, be straight, quite straight, I mean it is maybe slightly not so straight. If this is the case and if they try to force to sit upon the heel because of the body weight, what tend to happen is either they will put too much weight onto their you know front of the foot or pressing the foot since the foot is unable to move further what happens to them is their heels kind of go away from each other so if you notice this also happens to me if I try to sit with keeping my heels together and try to force myself to sit down what tends to happen to me is my heels will go apart and in many cases this posture can be considered as modification of the pose but we have some ways where we can adjust this position and modify the pose where we can keep the heels quite closer to each other. But the goal is not actually to keep the heels closer to each other but to keep the feet in straight position because we also want to stimulate the Vajra Nadi which is situated onto the sitting bone and our heels want to be directly in contact with sitting bone. So let me show you what I meant by that. So if you As you could see that if I, like me, because I do not have very straight foot here, I need to be more mobile to sit in this position comfortably where I can, can keep my heels together. But you know, as everyone is different and there's no wonder why we all cannot imitate the very same position. So of course, a position can be modified for like most of the people. Let me show you a quick way how to modify this posture when the posture is being challenging because of the this ankle issue. So for this we will need a small cushion. It may be a folded blanket or towel. If you have a cushion, wonderful. What you have to do is you have to keep your shin bone over the cushion and foot from the ankle will be outside the cushion. So let me show you how. So the ankle and foot will be outside of the cushion and the top of the ankle and shin bone including me depending upon height. Better if the cushion is so big that it can cover your whole shin bone and also knee that will keep your heels together. If you want to see that let me change my position.
So as you can see that when I place a cushion under my knee, sorry, under my shin bone and ankle, what happens is my foot doesn't have to straighten any further. Since it is, it doesn't have to be straightened further because there is cushion supporting my ankle and giving it weight, and it feels like my foot is straight, which also uh, does not overpress my ankle, especially if there is weakness into ankle or maybe there is injury. One person must modify the pose with the help of cushion. Now this adjustment helps a person with this issue of the ankle, but in posture like Vajrasana, not only this happens, but for many people. It can be because they do not have maybe flexible you know muscles into the knee or maybe they are not mobile enough to keep the knee completely bent with so much of the pressure in that case the posture can be modified by keeping a cushion between the calf and thigh and when you keep the cushion between calf and thigh or maybe not there what you can also do is you can also keep a block let's say this is a block we keep the block between the feet and sit upon that and what will that do is the higher the block is the better it is let me quickly place a block between my feet and then sit upon that maybe I can make this block higher so when I sit upon that block what that does is it doesn't let my you know hips to go so close to floor or it keeps that hip elevated I could use two blocks or maybe more than that so that I can have my hips slightly lifted up which does not have to keep my knees completely bent and that can help with this issue that makes your knee feel a little uncomfortable. So as you can see into this posture that in this posture it is not difficult to maintain the uprightness and erectness into the spine unless you are sitting in a proper position. because. Now, many people want to sit in a meditative pose and they struggle with keeping their spine in upright position. So, Vajrasana is a very good position for people who only struggle with keeping the spine erect but they are fine with their legs. So, Vajrasana can also be practiced as a meditative pose while you want to practice your breathing exercise or meditation itself. So, I hope you got, got an idea that how to use these small props and maintain the length in the spine so thank you very much for paying so close attention and uh, I would like to also invite you to our you know yoga school in Bali which is which you can go through on the website www.baliyogaashram.com and we shall be soon running yoga teachers training course there as soon as the lockdown finishes thank you namaste